gone absolutely crazy over the WWE superstars. I love their faces. They have very sharp features. They would make great sims. But I wasn't happy that my Naomi has a defective arm. But that just gives me an excuse to make her made to move. Or at least try to. And maybe we can make a few others. Personally, I'm okay with their body just the way it is. I like the fact that they have muscles and are fully articulated. With a made-to-move body, they will lose those awesome arms. Hey, what you trying to say? But they will gain a larger range of motion. Look at what I can do. Ah! And I think they're going to look like Sims. First up, Naomi. I think she is a good match for the green top made-to-move Barbie. But we are all out. No! That's okay. We can just borrow one from a previous project. Aw, oh, man. Everyone, say it with me. Off with her hit. Uh -oh. It worked. And the Barbie looks great on the superstar body. It's a pretty good match. There is no bobblehead syndrome. And now she has two arms that work. Now let's try a made-to-move body with her. What's your name again? Alicia Fox. Alicia? Oh, <laughs> my bad. I've been saying it wrong this whole time. I think we can match her to the Barbie made-to-move soccer player. All I ever need is here that is a great match. One thing I noticed is that the neck will get a little longer with the made-to-move body versus the WWE superstar. But she does look like a sim! I'm gonna pick one more, and I think she has a perfect sims face. Let's try the pink top made-to-move Barbie. I think I need a slightly lighter body. So let's try the blue top. Yeah, I think that's better. Now that we have our three WWE Superstar Made to Move Sims, let's get them dressed. Go on, ladies, pick out an outfit. Ooh, that's a cute top. Love the jean jacket. I never pictured you as the Hello Kitty type, but something tells me you could pull it off. For Naomi, I went with something very colorful because of the green in her hair. She has on a rock and roll shirt, jean jacket, and a printed skirt. Alicia is wearing a ruffled top and jean shorts. And for Nikki Bella, we went with something a little sporty. She has on a white athletic shirt and black tights. Now, to look like a sim, all they need is that little green crystal that hangs over their head. What is that called, a plum bob? I found these plastic green beads at the craft store. They're a little smaller than I want, but I think they'll work. Unfold a paper clip, bend it to the shape of the doll's head, trim off the excess to make a headband. Wrap thin wire around the top of the headband and leave one end standing straight up. Place the bead on the wire and use a little touch of glue to hold it in place to make a doll-sized plum bob headband that you can hide in their hair to turn your made-to-move WWE superstar into a sim. Thank you for joining us. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff and the Frog Vlog. And you're done. Happy crafting! Our sisterhood give a shout out to Livy and Maisel. What's up? Palpip Canar. She's Oveto Quiz.
Skiba Clage. Get this! <laughs> Wait! I didn't get the joke! I don't understand what you're saying! 